Hello. This video is a walkthrough of adjusting your Windows machine's IP or network settings to talk to Televic engines or access points. First thing you'll do is connect an Ethernet cable from the LAN port of the Televic device into your computer. Once that's done, go to the Start menu and select Settings. Then you'll select Network and Internet. And over on the left, you'll go down to Ethernet, as we're working with our hardwired connection. And then go to the right side and select Change Adapter Options. From here, you're going to look for an icon that looks like a little plugged-in network cable. So nothing with an X, nothing with Wi-Fi bars, we're just dealing with the wired connection here. And double-click on that. In here, we'll then select Properties and then go down to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4, and select Properties. By default, your computer is going to be set to obtain an IP address automatically, which is okay when you're on a larger managed wired network, but because we're creating our own isolated network, we're going to use the following IP address. So this is what's known as giving a static IP address. So for the first two decimal places, you'll want to match the Televic products 192.168. The third one will want to match what you're talking to also. Most Televic products have a zero in place, this third decimal place, except for the third generation of our wireless that has a one. So if you're using our G3 wireless, you'll put a one here. Anything else, you'll put a zero. And then the fourth decimal place needs to be unique to your computer, so it can't be the same as the Televic product you're talking to. Most Televic engines uh, for Plixus will have a default of 100 for the last decimal place. Uh, you can see the manuals for the default IPs of everything, but you'll just want to pick a unique address here. So for this, I'm just going to put 88 in. Then if you hit tab or click away, it's going to automatically fill in your subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. That's fine and then we'll click OK to get out. Then there's two other ways we can check if that worked. First thing you can do is go down to your search bar, type in CMD, and hit Enter. That'll open the command prompt. Then you'll type in ping and the IP address of the Televic product you're trying to talk to. So in my case, I have an engine 192.168.0.101, and press Enter. If you see this reply from four times, you're going to be talking. Let me show you an example of what it looks like if you haven't set things up right or if maybe a firewall is blocking. So let's type in a different IP address, ping 192.168.0.22. And if you get something like this, destination host, unreachable, timeout, things like that, um, you're going. that's a network issue, maybe the setting that you adjusted didn't keep or firewalls blocking. The next thing you can do is open your web browser and type in the IP address of the Plexus device or the Televic device in the web browser and see if you can get into its settings page. If you see its settings page, you have successfully configured and are successfully connected to the Televic product. Thanks for watching.